Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. <clears throat> remember this to be past, present, or future energy. So remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you would like a personal reading, the details are in my description box for my channel. And you can also email me aceofcups0 at yahoo.com. I only have one email, one account, one YouTube account, one TikTok account. That is it. And I never solicit for any readings ever. And when I mean solicit, I don't mean I don't mention it. I mean I don't contact you to do readings. You have to contact me if you want one. what is going on collective energy what do we need to know <clears throat> let me see if there's anything else that comes out before i read those so far i've had three come out anything else okay thank you so we have the page of wands inspiration ideas discovery limitless potential free spirit exploration excitement and freedom so someone could be exploring someone that has a lot of potential uh free spirit energy someone that may not know how much potential they have you could be exploring something new something could be new exciting you could be starting out on a new journey Ooh, there's two together you have multiple choices, or somebody does, multiple priorities, time management, adaptability, balancing decisions. So you have many options. You could be weighing the options, figuring out which direction to take, what you want to do. You're free. There's a freedom here. You could be making head over heart decisions. You're very disciplined, truthful, honest. You could have a lot of mental clarity. So it's like, I'm getting like wide open spaces, like... You can do anything. I'm almost getting like the full energy, like clean slate energy. And we have the seven of swords here. Or no, that's the eight of swords <clears throat> in the reverse. Oh, we have self-limiting beliefs, self-acceptance, freedom, inner critic. Okay, so you could be doubting yourself or someone could be trying to put doubt in your mind about what you want to do. So even though you have many options, you could be going back and forth between what options you want to take. You're thinking very clearly, but not everyone may agree with your decisions or even the options that you're weighing, maybe because they just don't like it or they don't want to see you succeed or do better than them. <clears throat> the world in the reverse. There's no closure, incompletion, delays. So someone feels like there is not closure. There's someone in your energy that likes to take shortcuts and they like to fill your ear with negative talk. <clears throat> this is like the doubting Thomas energy. So you have someone here who doesn't want a cycle to end. And so they're trying to put doubt in your mind so that you don't move forward or you don't um, take an option that does not favor them. I'm getting a very selfish energy. Someone who wants you to make a decision for their own selfish reasons. And then I have the magician. You're manifesting. You're in your power. You have self-confidence. You have strong willpower, skill, creativity. <clears throat> the problem is for whoever this karmic energy is, is they want you to make decisions for them or that will benefit them. And if you don't make a decision that benefits them in some way... They're not happy about this. You are a star. You have a divine connection. So you could be on a divine path, a divine mission. <clears throat> this person may not like that. They may not like your belief systems, your practices, which you may want to do for work. You've had to take a lot of time to heal. You've healed. So you could be a healer. So you're a star and you've had to take a lot of time to heal, to perfect your skills or hone in on your skills, work on your skills. You're very clear minded. This person may try to fill you with self-doubt, maybe um, make you think that you're just daydreaming, that your head is in the clouds. <clears throat> 
Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone could have um, been stuck in poverty. This could have been you who pulled yourself up out of poverty, who had to heal from a situation, and you decided to take some sort of swift action or some sort of swift action, message, communication. It could also be this person who has self-serving beliefs that is going to communicate with you or take some sort of action towards you or want you to take some sort of action with them because they're suffering financially. They could have taken a financial hit or they wanted to keep you stuck in poverty. They don't want this person doesn't want you to do well for yourself or do better than them. Like I said, this is a very selfish energy, very self-serving. You're very respected, held in high honor. So you're a very honorable person. You're not selfish. You're very compassionate, caring. You think about other people's well-being. So you may be weighing the options because you're afraid of hurting this person's feelings. So you may feel like you're stuck at a crossroad because you you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. This person may be close to you, or at least you were close to this person at one time. Who wants you to make a decision that's going to benefit them or help them out in some way. For some, it can even be someone who wants you to stay stuck in a stagnant relationship or situation that's not going to grow or manifest because they get a benefit from this. anything out of there so let's move on <clears throat> anything we need to know who's involved so someone got left out in the cold they don't they're afraid of getting left out in the cold not having money so this person may want you to make a decision that's going to be financially beneficial to them or to I'm hearing to you too, but it's more for this person. This person's afraid of being left out in the cold. They're afraid you're going to move on from them. And this could even be a friend, but, um, you know, maybe someone that you help out a lot or someone that you were in a relationship with or are in a relationship with. This person's afraid of struggling financially and being left out in the cold. <laughs> Because someone's a gold digger, <clears throat> someone who would do anything for money. So someone who is not financially well off or good with money or finances, they're afraid you're going to leave them out in the cold after you receive a gift or something being returned to you. They're afraid of you having a new beginning <clears throat> or someone being generous to you. Or they could be afraid that you already received a gift that's going to... Um, Allow you to move on away from them because you don't need them. They may not have much to offer you. <clears throat> there was some sort of message of a betrayal about something this person did that was not admirable. And it could be with money or finances or within this relationship. But there was a betrayal that had to do with some sort of communication or a message <clears throat> that was definitely not admirable. That could cause you to leave them out in the cold and they're afraid of this, especially if you're independent. So you could be weighing the decision on whether or not to keep dealing with this person or stay in this relationship or situation. What else is going on? <clears throat> what else is going on in this situation? So you're the queen of wands. You're a natural born leader. And someone was a liar. This person has dark intentions. They're not a star. They were a tyrant. And you have someone that wants to make you a love offer. Or you have love coming in towards you. And that's this person's worst fears. You moving on from them. Because you can do better than this person. <clears throat> so someone wanted to stay attached to you. Because they had some sort of financial benefit. So this could even be an ex of yours. Someone who was a gold digger. Someone who just wanted to use you for money or stay attached to you for money. <clears throat> so this could be someone who even wants you to take a job or make a decision um, career-wise that will improve your money. But that's only because they think they're going to get a chunk of this money. So this is someone who wants you to make a decision, especially when it comes to money, but to benefit them. <clears throat> 
So there's some sort of heavy burdens. Perseverance. Someone loves your perseverance. You chose love, self-love. You could be good mental in good mental health, mental spirits, physical, emotionally, mentally. <clears throat> You're full of love, light. You're strong. You have courage. And this person's afraid that you'll make a decision that's not going to benefit them and their self-serving purposes. Whoever this tyrant energy is. This person's afraid that you'll find new love. And so they could have lied to stop you from moving forward. This could have been a person who lied to you or that lied to other people about you. But it's because they don't want you to move on from them. I feel like someone has a decision to make when it comes to career. And this person wants you to take a job where you make money. You could have love on the brain or somebody does. Daydreaming, fantasizing, feeling nostalgic. <clears throat> Someone had legal issues and they were holding a grudge. So someone wants you, someone could be wanting to take you to court. So this masculine energy who is a tyrant could have tried to take you to court to get some money, some child support, to get you to pay for some sort of, I heard medical issues, medical bills. This person was holding a grudge against you. Trying to keep you tied up with legal issues, trying to get you to give them some sort of money. So maybe you do something that's non-conventional. Like maybe you're a content creator or you're an entrepreneur. You could be independent, self-employed, something like that. This person wants you to go work a regular job because then they're going to try to force you to give them money in some way, shape, or form. That's why they want you to make a decision that's going to benefit them. <clears throat> because there's intentions behind it. They intend to take you to court for money or that was their intention. And this person was holding a grudge because they can't force these legal issues on you. Especially if you're not working or you're self-employed or you don't make money in a traditional way. Like maybe your money is not um, consistent. Like it's not the same all the time. This person wants you to work a regular 9 to 5 job where you make a lot of money so that they can get a cut of it. Even though you're not with this person anymore. So since you walked away from this person or they walked away from you, since this relationship ended, so you could have already left this person out in the cold and they've been suffering financially because maybe you were the primary breadwinner. You're very nurturing, caring, <clears throat> and somebody sees that when it comes to your family, blood ties, inner circle. But someone is, is thrilled, like someone makes bad decisions. So this person is part of your family, inner circle. This person is connected or they think that you'll help them out because of your nurturing, caring nature. If you were not in an actual relationship, there's a family member or someone close to you that makes bad decisions. They could suffer from addictions. They want to keep you in a continuous cycle. They could be using your family to do this. So they could be using children to do this. <clears throat> They want you to be giving to them because they make bad decisions, especially financial ones. The, the King of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Swords in the reverse tells me this person is not only a liar, but they're not good with money. They like to spend money. And this person has addictions and it can even be shopping habits. Masculine that likes to shop, spend money, make bad decisions, but make you look like a bad guy <clears throat> or gal. This person wants you to keep financing them, spending money on them. <clears throat> Even if you're not with this person, they expect you to support them financially. Someone's getting kicked to the curb because there's a love story here that's playing out. So there is someone here with that Ace of Cups and a love story. This could be somebody who wants to come back in your energy, or this could be somebody new altogether. And for most of you, I'm pretty sure you want something new. You don't want anything from the old or the past. <clears throat> At least that's what I hear. Someone was getting a room 
or someone was not getting a room. Hotel, motel, suit, business, pleasure. There could have been a fling that may be turning into a love story or that someone wants to turn into a love story. So someone is getting kicked to the curb, maybe because you're focused on real love, not just a fling situation. <clears throat> this could have been somebody that you had a fling with. This could be someone different altogether from the King of Pentacles, the gold digger, someone that betrayed you with a lie. So there could be two masculines. One could be an ex that's using children to stay attached to you. <clears throat> But you could have been dealing with someone at one point who was just a fling that wants more, that wants to turn this into a love story. So something may have just been short term or casual um, that may be escalating into something more serious on the love front. This person can't stop daydreaming about you and a future that you could have together. So I feel like there are two different masculine energies coming through and one would be a gold digging ex who wants you to work a job, work a certain, you know, make a certain amount of money <clears throat> so that you have to pay something for them or finance them, sex with you in the reverse. So someone could have been having a fling with you. They could be th daydreaming about having sex with you. I wish I could be a different person. I long for your kiss. So there's someone here who wishes they could be different. That could be that king of swords, someone who lied regarding a message, communication, who betrayed you in some sort of way, or you, you could feel that there's a betrayal here. You could have kicked this person to the curb because they lied to you. <clears throat> so that's now near future energy. So you could be in the process of ending a situationship or relationship because you found out you were being lied to. But this person is longing for you. They crave a love story. They see a future with you or they're daydreaming about it, fantasizing about it. Someone has bad credit or they're unemployed. So someone could have racked up a lot of financial debt <clears throat> that they're expecting you to help them pay for. <laughs> That's funny. So with that Ace of Wands, maybe someone gifted you some money or you have money, resources, something like that. <clears throat> someone has secret accounts and they're being very shady. They could be spying on you, watching you. There's a reason why this person is being shady. It's because they want you, your money. So like I said, there's two different masculines here. One from your past. That is trying to connect to you or stay connected to you or your family. <clears throat> and there's someone here. And they want you to finance them. And this other person, there's someone that's getting kicked to the curb, getting left out in the cold because they lied to you. They were not honest. They could have been an energy vampire. They were very draining. But there's someone here who's daydreaming and fantasizing, not just fantasizing, not just in a sexual way, but someone who wants to have some sort of love story with you, but they feel like it could be impossible. You said goodbye to someone. So whoever this person is who's being shady and has secret accounts and bad credit, you said goodbye to this person. <clears throat> Anything else we need to know before I move on? Last time. Okay. Let me check these out. I felt like something almost wanted to come out. Anything from this deck before I move on? Someone's gaslighting you. Recognize when your emotions are being played with and when you are being manipulated. So someone's gaslighting you and manipulating you because they have something to gain from this. <clears throat> and it could even be both of these people who are trying to gaslight you trying to manipulate you and they don't think that you see this or realize this 
numbers. This person was trying to connect to you, whispering numbers in your ear. They were trying to send you messages or they wanted you to think that some sort of numbers were um, a sign. You know, when you hear in readings, pay, t pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities. This person was intentionally trying to send you signs or messages or they're like, hey, it's 111 on the clock or it's 333 or it's 1111. That means we're meant to be together or some, some shit like that. This person was full of hot air. <laughs> in the reverse you can do it follow through on what you said you would do this person doesn't want you to follow through and follow your dreams succeed achieve your goals because it doesn't benefit them so whatever this person is doing it's to manipulate you to try to force you into i feel like this is the person that wants you to finance them pay for them pay their way well, this could be both of these masculines who are manipulating you, but I feel like it's for different reasons. It's like there's two different reasons, two different masculines as to why they're trying to manipulate you. <clears throat> um, I just heard one could be a father figure who wants you to pay for them. So that could be a fam. There could be a family member or someone who wants you to pay, pay for them. Or give them money because they're broke. They suffer from addictions. They're not good with handling money. So it doesn't have to be someone you have child a child with. You could be the child. This could be a family member, a relative that's broke and needs money. And they could be trying to guilt trip you. And they're trying to um, push you in a direction that they, they want you to go in. Like especially when it comes to career so that you will pay for them. Anything we need to know from this deck. Someone refused to go through a transformation. Someone refuses to grow up, to mature. <clears throat> so it's like you're surrounded by leeches. <clears throat> Especially these two masculines. They're leeching time, money, energy. But for different reasons. And one of them you actually did have a relationship with or sex with. And I feel like that's the King of Swords energy. And I feel like the King of Pentacles could be a family member, or close relative, <clears throat> or someone that you had a family with. Provide is in the reverse. Someone can't provide for themselves, but they refuse to grow up and transform and be self-sufficient. So this person, that's like the King of Pentacles in the reverse energy. Someone who is dependent on you to help support them for money. Your confidence is really high and you're following your instincts. You're weighing your options. You're listening to your inner voice, your guidance. You're being guided. <clears throat> this person doesn't like that. They, ha they may have a problem with your beliefs or spirituality. I said that in the beginning. This person doesn't like that you listen to your instincts and you take your time and you're not as impulsive as they are. That you don't just, like if they ask you for money, this person gets upset because you don't just automatically hand it out. You may have questions like, okay, why do you need this money? Um, how much do you need? When are you going to pay me back? That kind of thing. This person doesn't like that. They don't like to be questioned. They don't want to be made aware that they are lying in the bed that they made, that they refuse to grow up and be responsible for their own money, their finances, their resources. <clears throat> this could even be a sibling, a masculine sibling. Someone that's connected to you, close to you. For some of you, it is a relative. Someone won't let go. They need to. A divorce. So someone that you divorced, someone that you, for some of you, this is um, someone that you were married to. And this person won't let go. So y'all parted ways. There was a divorce. There was a separation. But they refused to let go. This could even be someone um, that you separated from. For some of you, if this is the same person, the same masculine, instead of two separate masculines, it could go either way. <clears throat> you divorce this person or they're trying to stop you from divorcing them because they lied. They're a gold digger. They're trying to stop this relationship from ending. They don't want a cycle to be closed out, whether it's them using you for money, um, whether this is relative, relationship, whatever. This person doesn't want a cycle to be closed out. So this could be someone who's trying to stop a divorce and stop a cycle from ending because they are financially dependent on you. Like I said, you could be the primary breadwinner in this situation. 
So I'm seeing like three different scenarios of how this could be for this collective reading, how this could go. For some, it's family. For some, it's someone that you were married to. Someone, for some, it is someone that you are still married to that's trying to stop this divorce from happening. Let's dig a little deeper, shall we? Let's go. Let's go all the way. I'm hearing that song, Rosanna, yeah. <laughs> but this person's gaslighting you. They're, they're being deceptive and very manipulative. They may not even really want to be in this relationship, but they're gaslighting you into thinking they want you to stay in this relationship or this situation. That you need them. They're trying to convince you that you need them, but not for money obviously because they need you for money but they're trying to gaslight you and make you feel like you need them for something they're trying to make this look like this is not um a parasitic relationship they're trying to make it seem like it's a symbiotic relationship but it's really not uh okay <clears throat> I love you and I only want to add happiness to, to your life. This person's love bombing you. Nobody makes me laugh like you and I need some fun. But there's no, this is in the reverse. So there's a lack of laughter, a lack of friendship. This person's trying to sabotage you and they're being dishonest. They didn't want to work with you, collaboration. So they didn't want to work with you in the past. They were not kind to you. They were not friendly. <clears throat> they could have been laughing at you and in your situation. As you were figuring stuff out. You're thinking about your future. This person's thinking about the future. And the fact that they need a loan. I'm in need of financial assistance. So like I said. This person's loving you. They see that you're positive. They're trying to put things in perspective. Or give you a new perspective. They want you to hear them out. I can't wait to tell you the amazing thing that happened to me. So Something something positive has happened for you <clears throat> with that Ace of Wands. And you have a new perspective, a new outlook on life. This person feels like you're bragging, so they feel like you owe them money. Like, even if you're not bragging, this person feels like you're bragging. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, maybe about you talking positive or speaking positively, this person takes it as bragging and with their insecurities, it really irritates them. It gets under their skin. But yet they need you. They're thinking about the future and they think they're thinking about the fact that they're going to need financial assistance. They're going to need money. So they're love bombing the shit out of you. Someone was on the wrong path. They're not getting the ace of pentacles. There's not a new beginning here. This is not going to end in a new relationship. <coughs> You do have successful love or someone that's having loving feelings here. But someone was not compassionate. They were a flying monkey. They were trying to sabotage you for their own selfish reasons. Luck is on your side. So you have a reason to brag. Things are working out for you. Things are looking up for you. And this person doesn't like that. So for some of you who where this is two different masculines, where this, this is a two different masculine situation... This king of swords wants to give you this love offer. They see luck is on your side. Um, <clears throat> but they may not have been very compassionate to you. They, um, Or this could be the king of pentacles who is trying to sabotage you. Because you are on your way. You're working towards your goals. And that's going to end in a ten of cups situation. A happy ending. And this makes someone sad. So you getting your happy ending. Your ten of cups. You having family stability. Is really sad and depressing to someone else. And I feel like it's that King of Pentacles energy, someone who's very jealous and envious of you, whether it's your family member, um, an ex, or someone who doesn't want to separate from you. You having this Ten of Cups, this stable, happy family where there's lots of love and just, you know, good shit. Like, this person can't stand that. <clears throat> and this King of Swords sure as hell does not want to let you go, even though they lied and they were dishonest. There's some sort of secret that needs to be revealed. Someone celebrated too soon. 
when they thought they could sabotage this love, <clears throat> some sort of secrets being revealed or is going to be revealed. Moon card, what was done in darkness, being brought to light. Scorpio energy could be significant. I heard water sign, air sign um, could be significant. Someone was a practitioner in the reverse. So somebody thought that they were sabotaging you, that they were winning, that they were going to get something from you. <clears throat> so this person is um, the star in the reverse, the practitioner in the reverse. It could be masculine or feminine. And they were trying to keep something hidden, keep it secret. Maybe they were trying to keep it um, a secret, uh, what they believe in, what they practice, what their intentions were what their religious beliefs are. <clears throat> the problem is, is you saw through the illusions. So that's a challenge because you saw through the illusions and you chose happiness. You chose your family stability instead. So you chose you, you chose your family over the illusions. So, so someone was trying to sell you some bullshit with a fairy tale and you saw through it with that King of Swords energy. That they were trying... So, both of these masculines could have been trying to sabotage you. This King of Swords doesn't want you to move on from them because they're daydreaming about you. They can't stop thinking about you. This King of Pentacles wants you for money. They're only thinking about money. That's it. Like, I, I don't think that there's feelings involved in this situation for you. Like, I don't feel like that person wants to love you or have a relationship with you. <clears throat> they just want you for money. Even if you're married to them, they don't love you. They just need your money. Anything we need to know. <clears throat> so someone's lazy. They don't want to work. I can, but I won't. So someone just refuses to work. And they're acting immature. Maturity is overrated. This person is immature. It could be a younger person or they just act immature. For some, it could be a younger sibling who expects you to take care of them. Family member, whatever the case. Even an elderly family member, like a father figure. But something was very shocking uh, just about how immature this person was being. <clears throat> it could be other people that were shocked to find out how immature this person was being as well when it comes to you and what they were expecting <clears throat> it could also be shocking that this person's about to make a u-turn and come back so they did something very shocking surprising very immature and childish and they're trying to come back around for round two so someone's busting a ue Trying some bullshit. So this is someone from your past or someone that already did some bullshit who's trying to come back to do some more bullshit. Big fat hairy deal. So even even though that this may have been shocking to other people, you may not have been unimpressed. You, you may have been unimpressed. Like you may not have cared. But other people cared. Like something... Something that this person did was like a big deal. Very childish. And they're, this person doesn't think it's a big deal, but other people do. Even if you moved on, even if you're just like, ah, eh, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Other people think that this is a really big deal, whatever this situation is, because it was very shocking and childish with what this person was doing. It's like they were acting younger than they are. So for some, this could be an older masculine who's just acting like a really big baby. Or did something that like a teenager would do. They were not a superhero. They had their hand out. <clears throat> They're not intelligent. So they did something that was not very smart to get money. They thought they had it figured out. So they did something really childish, shocking, and immature to get this money. Because they're lazy, they're tired, they're draining, because they were scared. You're like Susie Homemaker, you know, man or woman, doesn't matter. But you're handling your business. And you could have a home, you could be taking care of you, your home, your family, that ten of cups. You're working towards a goal, you're achieving your goals. And that pisses this person off because they had their hand out. They were expecting to get some money from you. They were expecting to get a large lump sum of money, that ace of pentacles from you, and they didn't get it. 
<clears throat> There's something significant about the next three to six nine or three six nine. <laughs> Three to six, nine, um, <clears throat> three to six months. And since I said the other part, I'm going to say for some of you, it's going to be six to nine months. Somebody did something that pissed a lot of people off. It was not in divine timing. They lied about you and their spell work backfired. So for some of you, if this person is the king of swords and the king of pentacles, if it's the same person, they're a liar, they're a gold digger. <clears throat> They owe you money, but they're trying to get you. This person is deceiving themselves because they think you owe them money. So that's, that's this person feels like you owe them money. They have a chip on their shoulder and they're deceiving themselves because they believe in their heart of hearts that you owe them money. And there's something significant that's going to be happening in the next three to six months where they're going to try some stupid shit in the next three to six months. And for some six to nine, smiles are contagious. Be a carrier. If this could be male or someone is carrying a def different belief system. So you have different religious beliefs in this person. They don't think something is serious, but yet there's anxiety. So maybe at the time when they did something or they still think that something is no big deal, but there's an energy of anxiousness. So it's like they want other people to believe it's not a big deal, whatever they did. Or that maybe you have different religious beliefs. They're trying to say that's not a reason for why they did what they did. But there's some sort of uh, message. Or they're carrying this chip on their shoulder because you have a different religious belief. I feel like someone's, this person's got a chip on their shoulder. And they're anxious about the consequences. Even though they don't want you to see this about them. They don't want you to know that they're scared about the consequences for what they did to try to get this money from you. <clears throat> If you were married to this person, they could have lied about still being married to you, even if you were already divorced from them. There could be a raid drug bust SWAT team. So someone could be nervous about um, <clears throat> getting busted, something illegal that they did, some sort of secret that they're keeping. So there's some sort of secret that could um, relate to a drug bust a SWAT team. So they could have lied and said you were a drug addict or you were running drugs or like a drug, whatever the case they lied about something, possibly to get you arrested so that they would get this money. If you were locked up, then they would have access to this money. So someone is trying to get you locked up. They were not good cops. They tried to get law, official, law officials involved. <clears throat> but they missed it. Because they did something out of spite. Someone that you thought was working with you. They didn't think you knew this. This false prophet, false teacher father or son figure so there's this masculine energy didn't want to work with you they were being spiteful they're a false prophet false teacher they're the evil the star in the reverse you're the star in the upright they tried to get an investigation going on you <clears throat> using law enforcement so they made some sort of false claims about you or against you and someone is secretly trying to get you raided but they missed the opportunity. It didn't work. Someone that you were married or in a contract with for some of you. So for some of you, this is the father of a child that you were married to. Sorry, I didn't pick up my phone. So you're not dealing with this person. You don't want to be with this person. You could be ignoring them or not responding to them because they could be trying to trigger you on purpose. This person could have more than one vehicle or they change vehicles. They could buy vehicles a lot, change out vehicles like... You may see this person with a vehicle one day and then like a couple months later it's not good enough so they go trade it in or get something else. Like this person has different vehicles all the time. <clears throat> but yeah, they want you to pay for it. That's what I just heard. But they want you to pay for it. So this person wants you to fund their lifestyle. This person would have done anything and everything. All's fair in love and war. Like this person feels like just because you were in a relationship or marriage with them, they're entitled to do whatever they want to you. Anything and everything. Like they don't give a shit. Like this person has no boundaries. The M N O or P on a Wednesday, a Libra on a Thursday in January. So this person did something. 
in January multiple times. Could have been someone MNO or P or two MNO or P. They caused an imbalance. So this person was willing to do anything and everything. You're being set free. This person was a bottomless pit, that king of pentacles and the reverse. They're greedy, gold digger. Life's a bitch. They didn't want you to heal. They wanted to keep you stuck. And they feel like you owe them something. Someone's stuck between a rock and a hard place. They're going to have to bite the bullet. They were being a pain in the neck, pain in the butt, so that they wouldn't have to face the consequences for what they did. So it's like, this is like a fair weather friend. It's like someone who acts like they want to work with you or that they can co-parent with you or that you can be on friendly terms, but this person is like being a pain in the ass nonstop behind the scenes to sabotage you <clears throat> because you have different religious beliefs. If you do something in spirituality, this person is religious um, or they have a form of religion, whatever the case. And um, they want you to go work a nine to five or so you can give them money. They hate you. They hate your money, but they want it. They hate that you have money and that they don't. You're avoiding someone like the plague. They did something impulsively. They were beating a dead horse. Someone's avoiding this person. You're about to get your moment of truth, moment of glory by November. Someone's going to find out that they were on a wild goose chase. So this person could still be trying to spark some sort of investigation. And in November, or some something's going to happen in November, or something did happen in November... <clears throat> someone's going to find out that they were on a wild goose chase and that could have to do with this investigation. Man, a few words. There's a Gemini here who hasn't said a whole lot. They haven't spoken to a whole lot to you or they could you could be avoiding this person. They're very envious. They could be avoiding you because they're very envious and jealous. Maybe they have to go to work every day. Maybe you don't. Maybe you work from home. Um, like I said, maybe you make your own work hours, something like that. This person is not missing you. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. This person could have been arrested or they're trying to get you arrested. They could be envious and jealous of you and pissed off and they could be trying to get you arrested or um, this person got arrested because someone who is very envious and jealous. <clears throat> but you have the wisdom of the ages. Someone has the wisdom of the ages. Someone hates that you're intelligent. After everything you've been through, after the healing you've had to do, you can see the writing on the wall on Monday, or someone does, regarding a group of people, a family. So you, someone see, you're smart, you're intelligent. A family could be trying to set you up to get arrested, but you didn't fall for the trap. This could even be your ex's family, your ex's spouse's family, who was working together on this it could be your own family who turned on you whatever the case is this group of people you see the writing on the wall because you have the wisdom of the ages and um this person is jealous and envious of you and they're trying to get you arrested because they have something to gain and it could have to do with money um like i said it could have to do with child support whatever the case or money that you in inherited or that someone gave to you or it was gifted to you But this person's not going to get it. It's the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. They didn't get it. All right. Person, place, or thing, V. This is over. It's going to be over. This person's trying to stop the cycle from being closed out. It's going to get closed out anyway. I. IV. Sedation could be significant. Someone could have surgery coming up. A. Q. Q and A. Someone's going to be questioned. Something about a hospital. Um, maybe someone takes a child to a hospital a lot or someone's in and out of the hospital. Someone is going to be getting questioned maybe while they're hooked up to an IV. About whatever investigation this is. G. R. Another R. <clears throat> railroads could be significant railroad railroad crossing o and a v i'll do one more and another o someone could drive a range rover that could be significant an suv could be significant I V Q A G R O R V O. Someone could be driving an RV, taking an RV, trying to buy an RV. You could have recently bought an RV, 
traveling could be significant. So maybe you do a lot of traveling. You could have even retired early, something like that. Whatever the case is, is this person's very envious, jealous. They're very, they hate you. Like, even if it's your own family, they hate you. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.